What's happening guys? Kenny back again and today I've got a different kind of video for you. Um, if you read the thumbnail you know uh, this is going to be my first knife sale. Uh, I generally don't do these on YouTube um, although I probably should do them more often. Um, I usually try to sell my knives on um, Instagram but uh, that doesn't seem to be going too well these days and um, it, when I'm doing a lot of knives at once it makes more sense to just do it on here and then I like to um, kind of make it available for some of you guys that aren't necessarily on Instagram. Um, I feel bad that some of my knives have probably been sold on Instagram where a lot of you guys are probably interested in them. Although I do try and uh, hit guys up when they make a, a point to tell me they want something that I have. Uh, yeah, so getting right into this today, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know um, the stipulations of this sale. Um, it's going to be pretty much United States only, uh, continental United States, unless you're in like, uh, you know, Hawaii or Puerto Rico or something like that, where shipping USPS is pretty much the same deal. Um, if you're in like Europe or um, Asia or something like that, it's going to make it a little more uh, difficult. So if you do really want something and you're in one of those countries, uh, I might be able to work something out with you, but the price might vary a little bit. So uh, the prices I, I, I uh, mentioned here. So uh, in saying that, um, all payments will be uh, PayPal, friends and family. Um, and the the uh, price that I, that I state here will include uh, full fully insured shipping and you'll get a tracking number and all that. So uh, that'll be included in the price. Oh, oh, and uh, before I get started, I will do combo deals. So if you want to combo, um, you know, two of the knives or three of the knives, um, I'll give uh, discounts on combinations. So if you decide to go with two, uh, maybe I'll like take $10 off. If you go with three, I'll take 15 uh, just to help because it'll help me with shipping. So if you want more than one knife, then it'll it'll bring the cost down a little bit. Uh, so going right into it, let's go ahead and start with, uh, we'll start on the left here. We've got the Kershaw Atmos. Uh, this one has been sharpened. As you can see, it does have a smile back here, but it's kind of hard to get around that with this. You can see that plunge grind, it comes out pretty far. So yeah, for this guy, I'm really just looking to... Uh, I mean, I haven't carried it much. It's been sharpened once and I can go ahead and touch that edge up and this guy will be going for $25. Uh, you see there are a few minor scratches in the blade, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the little bit of use I did, did scratch the blade that little bit, but I mean, it's 8CR guys. It's, it's going to get scratches, but, and this is a user, so. For 25 bucks, it'll be at your door and um, and sharpened. So, you know, you're kind of paying for my sharpening as well. But yeah, this guy, oh, everything here, guys, does have a box and all the paperwork with it. So just so you know, uh, $25 for the Kershaw. Uh, then next on the list will be this uh, little drop gent. These were um, released by Mass Drop. And you can see that was still Mass Drop when this sold. Uh, this is S35, uh, titanium liners, and G10. Uh, well, it's kind of like liners, but let's call it a frame, really. And then these G10, um, you know, scales on top of that. There's a lot of cool aftermarket ones, too. I was going to make my Carta for this, but I never did. So, uh, yeah, this guy is super smooth. Super snappy action. Um in any way you de deploy it really nice knife I'm actually having a hard time getting rid of it but uh, this guy's gonna be $60 uh, shipped to your door it has never been sharpened this is the factory edge uh, it's still in pretty good condition although it probably could use a sharpening um, I can sharpen it as well um, let's just add 10 bucks if you want me to sharpen it uh, this is gonna be 60 bucks for this guy uh, $10 added to that if you want me to go ahead and, and sharpen it before I send it. Uh, next is going to be the, Ker uh, the um, Kaiser Gemini. 
Um, this is the one that I did the anodization on. If you guys saw that video, it does have some scratches in that anodization, but still really cool. It has like a purple fade to bronze and then a purple clip. Uh, super snappy action on this. Um, centering, very, very smooth action. Centering is pretty far off and it's kind of like never gonna be centered. Um, I've tried everything, it's just not gonna happen. But the action's super smooth, super nice. Uh, great little knife. Uh, this did get um, HRC tested and this guy was low. I think it was like 56 HRC on this S35. Um, it still works great for just like normal everyday stuff, but it's not going to hold an edge for very long. It does take a nice sharp edge, but it's just not going to hold it. But if you're mostly just doing small things around the house and if you don't, if your EDC doesn't comprise of like doing a bunch of cardboard cutting like mine, then uh, this is going to be just fine for most people, uh, especially if you're stropping it, you know, daily or whatever. It's going to, it's going to perform just fine for a lot of people, but Saying that, uh, yeah, this guy is gonna be uh, 115 shipped to your door. Uh, again, boxes included and the the little bag and everything. So, uh, moving along, I've got the ZT 05, uh, 0609. Uh, this is the RJ Martin. Uh, this is obviously my anodization. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but. It's a really cool kind of like blue and gold with some purples when you get it in the right light. Um, really cool, came out nice. Dig the way it came out. And then a bronze uh, heat anno on the, on the clip. Uh, really, really like this knife. I just never carry it. So I'm gonna let it go. Uh, this one did get HRC tested and it was at 59 HRC on this 20 CV. But I will say that uh, the performance actually uh, was better than I had expected at 59 HRC. I believe that this has been um, really well done as far as the, um, just, you know, how they did the steel at 59, as far as the, the refinement of the steel, it really felt good. So it performed better than what I would have expected from 59 HRC 20 CV. Really surprised by that, so. Uh, I thought it was going to be higher when we did the HRC test. Uh, then moving along. Oh, uh, this guy. This guy is going to be 140 shipped to your door uh, with everything included, including the, um, the tool. So that's a good deal. Uh, 140, everything included, uh, including the box. So uh, moving on to the Griptilian. This is the full-size Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, this is that aftermarket thumb stud from Monkey Men. And this is the jumbo, and it works really good. I like this a lot. Um, makes it super easy to deploy. Um, even actually makes kind of an Emerson wave feature as you pull it out of your pocket. It'll grip that and it will open the knife if you want it to. Otherwise, you just twist it and it comes right out. But really cool. I do like these thumb studs. Um, that'll come with the knife. This guy is a package deal for 80. If you want me to get rid of the thumb studs, I'll, it'll be 65. So 80 bucks shipped to your door, uh, 154 CM. Uh, this is the, the factory, factory edge on it. And it's not screaming sharp, but it's still got some bite to it. I didn't really carry this knife. It was just in my truck as a backup and I just never carried it much. So uh, yeah, that guy will be coming to your door for 80 bucks with the, with the thumb stud. Uh, next is going to be the Reich Hussar. I forget the number. Oh, yeah, P121B. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, this is a sweet little knife. Very, very smooth. Uh, great action. Um, pretty good ergonomics. A little blocky for my taste. A little square on the corners, but really nice knife. I just don't carry it. Uh, these these kind of budget knives, I just find that they sit in my drawer and I just never get that urge to carry them. And this guy even sharpened and just never carried it after I sharpened it. 
Um, I never even, I don't think I ever carried this knife, guys. It's kind of sad, but um, I want it to go to a good home and someone that'll use it. So um, I know there'll, there'll be somewhere, someone out there. Uh, this guy will be $35, and I know they're brand new $35, but guess what? It's going to come with my edge, and I will polish this up. Uh, this is at 600 right now, or no, 300. I'm actually going to take that to 1500 before I, I send it to you. But it is screaming sharp. I just, I was going to see what it did at 300 and I never, just never carried it. So, uh, yeah, great, great knife, guys. Just not my style. So, uh, this guy's going to be 35 bucks shipped. Uh, then last but not least is going to be the Civivi Backlash. Uh, this knife is actually a really nice knife, really great option. Um, I really like it, but I just don't carry it a lot. And again, it's just these budget knives. I just find they just sit in my uh, closet. Uh, this guy did get HRC tested, but I can't remember what it tested at. What I will say is that's a 15 degree per side edge, and this thing is so thin, so thin. I think it was like eight thousandths or something. I, I did a live video with this in it a long time ago. This was like almost two years ago now, and uh, I think it was like seven thousandths behind the edge. Um, at this point, it's probably eight or maybe nine, but it is a laser beam, guys. I'm having a hard time letting this one go just because of that geometry, uh, but it just doesn't get carried enough, so I think I'm gonna have to let it go. Uh, this one is gonna go for 35 as well, uh, shipped, and that's a steal, because um, I know these are about 42, but I mean, this one's probably thinner than most that come, and um, I didn't carry it all that much. There's nothing, no scratches or anything. It's really in good condition, maybe a few, light scratches on the blade but very 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 nice well, really not much to speak of there maybe a few light ones but yeah great knife um and someone's gonna love it so uh yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this uh i hope you guys like some any of these and if you do let me know um any comments um i will put my email address in the description so if you're interested and you want to buy uh, my email address is actually my PayPal as well and uh, that's in the pocket shop.com and then also if you'd um, if you have any inquiries or if you want to make an offer or something like that you can also email me there although offers I'm not going to really entertain too much um, I feel like I price these pretty well if you'd like to like buy the whole batch up maybe I'll make a you know like a a total price that would be a discount um, like I said if you just want to buy like two you'll get like a ten dollar discount if you want to buy three you'll get like a fifteen dollar discount um, and all of them maybe I'll find some you know discount for that but anyways just let me know if you're interested and hope you guys enjoy this thanks a lot for watching have a great day